All right, should we, uh, should we kick this off, Tyra? All right, so hello, guys. We are currently live with the Project Expedition, and they are going to show us all about their platform so that we can better use them. Take it away, Rob. Awesome. Thanks, Tyra. Thanks for inviting me. Thanks for setting this up. Hello, everyone. Um, really appreciate you dialing in. Uh, this oh, is the afternoon um, and, and listening in to, uh, to my presentation. Uh, my name's Rob. I'm one of the co-founders of Project Expedition, uh, and I run our sales and marketing uh, side of things at the business. Um, so I'll be your point of contact if you need anything. I do all the trainings. So today you're getting the intro from me. Um, but in the future, you can reach out for one-on-ones, extra deep dives, anything like that. Um, for the session today, I'm going to split it into, uh, into two halves. I'm going to start with an intro to the company to show you what we do, what we're about. And then the second half, I'm going to walk you through the platform, show you how to use it. Um, and I'm going to finish with a couple of other updates as well. Uh, hopefully there's some time. Feel free to ask questions as we go. Tyra's going to monitor um, as we go. Uh, and we we'll hope there'll be time for questions at the end as well. But without any further ado, let's kick things off. What is Project Expedition? We are a platform of just over 21,000 experiences from high quality local tour operators all around the world. So we're in, the, we're in the things to see and do part of travel. Kind of think of us, um, whenever your clients are traveling and they get to the destination, we're here to help with that part of the trip. So it could be when they land at the airport, um, it could be the transfer, we can help with that. It could be uh, a sightseeing tour, if they want to go exploring. It could be some activities. Um, it could be attraction tickets. Uh, if they're cruising into a destination, we can help you with the shore excursions as well. Um, maybe on their way out, they want to go to the airport lounge, we can even help you with that. So we, we sit in the, you know, the things to see and do part of the trip, the in-destination experiences. Um, now, way, uh, where we're a little bit unique is that we, although we have a lot of tours, we do curate everything. So the 21,000 you see is a big number, but we've handpicked all the operators we work with. Uh, so we're not really trying to be the biggest to have every company out there. Uh, we're trying to give you the best choice. Now, that doesn't mean we're limited anyways. When you look into, let's say our tour section, you're gonna find similar tours, but at different price points. So for example, in let's say Rome, you're gonna see private tours. So if you've got that sort of high end, that luxury client, we can help you with the private tours where it's just your client and the guide. Uh, we also in Rome will have the small group tours. Those are tours up to usually about 15 people. Um, that's that mid price point. Um, but we also have larger group sizes. We have things like hop on hop off tickets. Um, so again, on the slightly cheaper side of things. So even though we say we're curated and it is high quality, which is absolutely true, we don't limit ourselves from the type of product that we have, the private to the small group to the larger group sizes. So we like to think wherever your clients like at price-wise, we can help. And the same is true with the activities. Um, don't really limit ourselves there. We've got high energy activities. We've got more leisurely things. Um, think things like uh, zip lining in Costa Rica. Think doors off helicopter flights in Hawaii on that more sort of active adventurous side of things. And then right through to things like pasta making classes on the Amalfi Coast. Um, we cover that whole range. Um, really, if, it, if it's something interesting to do in a destination, uh, we want to cover it and be here to support you as advisors with planning that part of the trip. Now, I talked a little bit how we can help with shore excursions. We've got a great little tool where you can actually search by cruise ship itineraries to find those excursions. Uh, I really recommend using that if you are booking cruises. Um, everything we offer is commissionable um, as well. The pricing you see is all competitive, which I'll talk about in a minute. The shore excursions come with extra terms. They have back ship guarantees. They have cruise friendly refund policies. Um, and the other thing I'll point out here is even though we're a website and you go on, you can book everything online, um, we have a big emphasis on customer service. And you see that middle widget down there, it talks about custom, private, and groups. I really encourage you to reach out to us if you ever need anything custom or you have a group. 
let's say your client sends you a very specific request, like they know they want to do A, B, and C in a date, or start here, finish at that hotel, somewhere nice for lunch, all that kind of things. You can actually just email that, forward that over to us, and we'll work for you to put the quote together. Um, we'll set it up on our website. You can present it to your client and hopefully close it. Um, so if you can't find what you're looking for on the website, definitely reach out. It could be tweaking the existing tool. It could be designing from scratch. And the same is true with groups. And I really recommend reaching out for groups because aside from designing something just for them, um, uh, we can get you group rate pricing, so slightly better discounts. And then finally, I talked about attraction tickets, but we also cover uh, the city passes that are really popular. Um, so for example, in New York City, we, you can get the free, the four day, the five day attraction pass. It's one booking for you, but it gives your client access to all the top attractions in the city. So um, great money saving for them and ultimate flexibility for the client as well. So that's the product, a little bit about us. Um, so Project Expedition, uh, we're based in uh, New York City. We've been around since 2014, so we're, so we're seven years old. Um, what I'm, a lot of people don't know is we've actually built our business for and all around travel advisors um, here in the US. Um, so 98% of our business is actually through travel agents. Um, and hopefully you're gonna see through this kind of intro that we're very, very advisor friendly. Um, lots of little things in the terms, right through to things like the fact you can have your client on our website and still earn commission when your clients book. Um, so lots of cool things like that, but hopefully you'll see we're very advisor friendly and that's really the focus of our business uh, and where we focus our growth and where we want to get to. And the other thing, and I guess I kind of, what's helped us grow like, throughout the last seven years is just been gathering loads and loads of feedback. Um, so even if today is the first time you're hearing about us, uh, tell us what works, tell us what doesn't work, tell us what we can be doing better at. Um, you'll see lots of functionality on the website that we've built, um, but that's really been just from advisor feedback. The same is true with the tours. Like I mentioned on the previous page, how we cover lots and lots of tours, but if you can't find something or you ever have a, a suggestion for a new operator to work with, let us know, because that helps us expand, helps us grow. Um, so we, we really just love feedback. So I think there's, there's two ways we differentiate ourselves. Um, the first is the curation of the inventory. Now, I talked about how we vet, we verify every supplier that we onboard, but we go a step further. We actually um, show you who the operators are on our website. So when you are browsing, you can see the operator names. And I put some of the bigger companies we work with up here. You might recognize some of these like Walks and Urban Adventures or Club Mobe's on there as well. That's the airport lounge in Jamaica. Um, so you can see a great selection and range of product that we offer. And what's really important to keep in mind is the pricing is competitive. So you do not pay more. Your clients do not pay more to book any of these products for us. If it's $100 with them, it's $100 with us. And that includes your commission. And what's more, for some of these international companies, when you book with us, it's all going to be in US dollars. So you don't have to worry about exchange rates. You don't have to worry about um, international payment charges and stuff like that. You're booking in US dollars to us, and we're a US-based company. And then we pay the commission back to you in US dollars. So between you and booking all of this, it's all US. It's really clean and simple. Um, we worry about all the international payments and stuff like that. Um, there's no minimums when we pay commission. There's no charges, nothing like that at all. And the second differentiator for us, and this is actually where I got our best feedback, it's on the customer service, as simple as that, really. Um, when we started the company, um, I said how we focus in on travel advisors, we felt kind of the, the best thing we could do is give loads of technology to make it as easy as possible. But when you need us, you've got friendly, personable, professional support. And that's kind of our, our mantra here on the customer service side of things. Um, our whole customer service team is based in the US. Um, and our hours we've extended a bit now. So we, we start at 8 a.m. Eastern and we go to 8 p.m. Eastern. So we like to think we've got all business hours covered. And we've also just started weekends as well, nine till four, um, Saturdays and Sundays. Outside of those hours, um, you can still contact us with messages and we'll come back to you. Um, but if, um, if it's something like real time in the destination, all the vouchers have local phone numbers on them. So you can speak to like the guide or the operator in, let's say Rome, if that's where the booking is in those actual hours. In terms of though working with us, we are here the whole way through. We don't want you to think that just because you're booking local companies, 
that after you make a booking, you have to work with them. I mean, you can, but we are more than happy to support you. We view you as the advisor as our client, and we're here for you the whole way through, before the trip, during the trip, after the trip. Um, before the trip, I talked about how um, you can reach out to us for any kind of questions and custom quotes and that kind of thing, but reach out if you'd just like a hand. Maybe you've never sold excursions in a certain destination before, reach out for some suggestions and we can pick them out for you. Um, you can get hold of us via phone, by email and live chat. And live chat's great on the website because it's like real-time support to a real person. So however you prefer to work with us, you've got those free channels. After the book has been made, you can find, you can get in touch with us for cancellations, for modifications, last minute questions. You'll find we're very, very responsive to all those kind of things as well. And I got this new slide just on money because uh, I, get, I get this question a lot kind of after the, um, the pandemic um, or since the pandemic um, about what happens with client funds when you book with us. So we've always handled money this way uh, through a trust account, um, but I'm just, I have it on my, my intro now. So you see the complete transparency and you can advise your clients accordingly. Um, so just high level, how it works is when you make a booking with us, um, it is payment at time of booking, and that money goes into a trust account. And it sits in that trust account until after the client travel. And then once they travel and hope you have a great time, that's when the money leaves that account. And it leaves that account to pay the vendor, uh, to pay your commission, and then Project Expedition kind of gets what's left from that. So the key thing is the money's safe, it's secure, um, even if you're booking way in advance. If you need to cancel, it means we can refund you very, very quickly. Um, we don't have to claw back money from overseas or anything like that. If you book today and cancel next week, we're literally clicking buttons to get you your money back. What's more, if the local operator does run into issues, and unfortunately this has happened a little bit, um, say you book a tour today for Italy in September and that operator goes out of business in a month or two, it's obviously a, it's a problem for the tour, but from the money point of view, you're 100% safe because we, we're holding it. So if that does happen, even though the local operator goes bankrupt, we can still refund you. Um, so you don't have to worry in those cases as well. And a bit more of a fun slide on technology. <laughs> um, so we've got lots of cool features here. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Um, I recommend you take advantage of some of these. Uh, Ty has already uploaded your logo. So as you log in, to our website, instead of seeing the Project Expedition logo, you're actually gonna see your logo. It's really cool in the top left-hand corner. Um, when you make bookings, the actual booking voucher is gonna have your logo on as well. I think it's really nice. So when you actually present that voucher from us to your client, it's coming from you. Um, if, I think you've got a question? Yes, I do have a question, I'm sorry. Okay, so I have some, um, certain ages that have different logos. Is it possible to upload theirs under their profile? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. So. Um, I'll show you everyone how they can register in different ways, but if anyone uses or has their own logo or maybe different agency name, um, we can set that up. Um, so everyone can kind of use their own logos. Um, and our commission will get paid back to like the host, the Tyra. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that as well. Um, then once you've got that set up, there's a really cool affiliate link solution that you, I recommend you try out. You, that's the affiliate links, how you can share the website with your clients. It basically means that when your client's on our website, we know you're the agent. So if they book, you obviously get commission. Um, now, you don't just get an affiliate link to our homepage. You can do it anywhere. You could put it on a destination page. You can make an affiliate link to a tour page, an attraction page. I'll show you how you can make this in just a second. It's really, really flexible. And the third thing on here is our wish list tool. So if you didn't want to send a whole destination page of 100 tours, you can actually build your own pages. Pick out the tours that you like the look of or you know will work best for your client and then just send that. And then last but not least, there is some payment um, um, flexibility here. You can do things like pay net rates, um, add service fees. Um, you can even use multiple credit cards. Like say you just want to put half on one card, half on another. You can do that very easily. All right, guys. So that's 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 the intro, if you like. Hopefully, uh, that's whet your appetite for some more. Um, the second half, I'm going to walk you through the platform. ProjectExpedition.com. Simple as that. There's not an agent portal. There's not a client portal. It's all one place. ProjectExpedition.com. That's all you need to know. The only thing you need to check is that you're logged in. So you see in the top right-hand corner there, it says My Account. Um, just make sure you can see that before you get started. Um, you need to be logged in to see all the advisor functionality. Um, 
otherwise the website's going to think you're a client of a travel agent um and your clients don't see things about net rates commissions and all that kind of stuff um so you do need to see all of that and all that extra functionality so just make sure you're logged in in terms of using the website big search box is the best place to start you can type pretty much anything into that so i've typed in seattle as my example um, and you can see how we can get straight to a destination page, straight to a tour page. We even have attraction pages. Um, and this is really handy. You see the businesses row? You can actually get straight to a profile. So if you know who you're looking for, like which company you'd like to book, search their name, go to their page. Don't worry about the destination pages. Um, just type in their name, you'll go to their page, their logo, and their tours. Um, and that's typically the two ways that agents will start. You either go location, destination, or you go operator because you know. Who you want to book but for this example let's go to a destination page and go to seattle and this is what the destination pages look like hopefully you find this really sort of clean and simple like the name at the top you see the little filter uh, so the number of tours 40 and then the filter bar here and then the tours are free across so the filter bar i typically recommend starting with the type filter because that's how you can narrow this page down quite significantly like if you know your client only wants private tours or you want shore excursions, you can filter there. The date time filter is pretty handy as well because that can filter by when tours are running. Um, and there's other filters on here like attractions and durations, things like that. Bottom right hand corner, you see the live chat feature. That's on every single page of the website. That's literally how you can get live help. Type into there, you'll be speaking to a, well, a real person um, in our customer service team in, in somewhere in the US. Um, so if you just need a hand when you're on the website, give that a go. And then up here, you see this referral link button, the orange button in the top right. That's how you can share this page with your client. And you're gonna see this referral link all over the website. So when you see it, it just means you can share that page. So if you click that referral link button, it makes a link unique to you. And then you can give that link to your client. And then how this works is your client will land on the Seattle page in this example, but they're going to be tracked to the whole website. So if they make a booking, it's linked up to your account and you receive an email notification. And what's more, this link doesn't expire. So for example, um, if you sent them the Seattle page today and they came back next week, next month, whenever, um yours they're still your client like if they came back in a year they're still going to be your client your own commission also they're not just linked to the seattle page even if you sent them this page they're linked to the whole website so you send them to seattle and they book this trip but then they came back to us and booked uh sweden uh next year you're still going to earn commission on that as well so Try those referral links, they're popular. Some agents use them just for marketing, like to say, hey, check out the photos, check out the tours. Uh, even though you're planning to make the booking, it's a good little way just for you, you know, your client, a picture can say a thousand words. So let them take a look. All right, let's click into a tour. So I've gone into the Explore um, um, Seattle page. So I'm just moving my, my monitor. Um, and you'll see the layout is again pretty clean and simple. You've got photos on the top right, key information on the top left. You see you've got the referral link button here on the left as well. So if you didn't want to send that whole Seattle page, you could just send this page. Um, and um, the export PDF is a, so you did not want to send your client to the website. You can make a PDF version of this tour by clicking that button. And it makes a one page PDF of just this tour. And then you can attach that to an email, you could print it however you like. Now, the wish list feature. Um, this is sort of tying it all together. And you see the little wish list button on the right hand side here. That's how you can build wish lists. So, say you didn't want to send that whole Seattle page just because there's 40 things on there, that could be too much. The wish list is a way you can build your own page and just the tours that you like the look of, or just the tours that you think your clients will like the look of. So to build that wish list, just click the button. You can give the wish list a name that's really cool. So you can name it after the client, after the trip, however, and then just add a few more tours into that wish list. And you're gonna end up with something like this. Here's one I made earlier, Rob Yellowstone trip. I named this wish list that. So you could name this after the client and personalize it. And look, it's just a page of the tours I picked out. So I could put three, I could put 10, I could put one, I could put two, however, however I think is right for that particular client. 
And then this works just like the referral link. So I would then send this to my client and say, hey, here's three things I picked out for you on your upcoming trip. And you see the conversion rate on these wish lists is really great. And I think it's just because it's so clean and simple. Like if you think about this from a client point of view, they're landing on this page. In the top left, they're going to see your logo. So they've got that familiarity. If you've named the wish list after them, they're going to see their name. So it's personalized. And then it's just the toys you picked. And then from here, the client can kind of do as they choose. You see some clients will literally just look at this and you can see we've got a name, we've got a bit of pricing. They'll literally just look at this and say, perfect. That's what I want to do. Please book them. And I guess from your end, that's kind of the dream scenario. You've done the work and they just look at this and they're done. But if the client wants to click in, they can. They could read about this. They could find another tool and book it. They're linked to the whole website after all. So I definitely recommend trying this tool out. It can really help your conversion. And once you've built the wish list, it's there forever in your account page. Um, and I've also seen agents that will, instead of building a wish list for each client, you know, like Rob's Yellowstone, like John's trip to wherever, I've seen agents build wish lists for destinations they sell a lot of. So let's say you sell a lot of Riviera Maya, Cancun. You could just build a wish list that's like, that's Tyra, Tyra's Riviera Maya suggestions. And then every single client you sell to that destination, you've got the wish list ready to go. Where it's like, hey, here's the five things I always recommend to my clients. If you do pre-trip email marketing, you've got it good to go. Once you build that wish list, it's there forever. Um, you never have to do any work again. So up to you. If you sell a lot of one destination or a few, try that. They all get linked to your account page in here. Um, so if you click my account in the top right-hand corner, this is what you see. And then the wish list, and you see the options there. All righty then. Let's talk about short excursions. So in the header of the website, uh, they see where I put a green circle, there's that link for shore excursions. This is our shore excursion planner tool. It's a way you can search for shore excursions based on cruise ship itineraries. So you can find shore excursions on all the other pages. Like I showed you the Seattle page before, and you, you may have seen that you could filter by shore excursions. So you could load up every port one by one and filter by shore excursions, but with this tool, you can see the whole cruise in one place. So it's, it's a lot quicker, speedier, and it's going to show you more information. So to use the tool, literally just type in the name of the ship. So we did Majestic Princess. And by doing that, we then get this extra drop down. Um, and on there, it's all the sailings. So you pick your sailing date. And with that second click, look what you get. The whole cruise is now showing on the page. So the name, Vancouver de Wittier, and then each port listed one by one with the dates, and then maybe more useful as well, the times. So you see Ketchikan, 6.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. And as you click into each of these, you can then see the shore excursions that are available. And then this again is like a, a referral link. So you could then refer links back to your client. Say, hey, here's your cruise, see what's available. Um, let me know if you'd like me to book or they can book it themselves, completely up to them. So great little tool here. If you're selling cruises and you'd like to earn commission on the shore excursions, uh, try this out. I think you'll find it really useful. And just like um, the, the, the other wish list I showed you, uh, these get treated the same. So they're all tracked in your account page. So here's that Vancouver to Whittier example. Um, it's all back here if you need to come find it later. All right, transfers. So the other link in the header, it says transportation. If you click that, it brings you to this page here. And this is where you can search point to point transfers. So from an airport, a cruise port, or a train station to a resort or a hotel or wherever. Um, it literally no tour, just the transfer. And you can see what the screen is here. There's just a couple of boxes to fill in. The first is you put in your airport. I did Seattle, the dates uh, when that uh, ship or that plane's arriving. And then the second box is actually a Google map search. So you can search not just on a, like a resort, but anything. You could search a street address if you wanted to quote a transfer to that. You can now filter by classes and sort by ratings and things. So if you only wanted economy level vehicles, premium or business, you can do that. And when you click search, this is what you get. So the cars will come up in line. So the first one, uh, it shows you kind of the, the picture of the car. Um, it shows you the durations, the passenger numbers, the wait times, and the pricings of total. Um, the results ordered by rating now are internal metrics. Um, so 
whatever's got the best rating will show towards the top of this page. And as I say, if, if you're looking for certain classes like economy versus business, you can filter accordingly. And just the, like on the tours, the commission is 10% on these as well. And then final little product update is we have this elevate section, um, which is a sub brand of project expedition for the premium experiences. So if you have luxury clients, or clients that really want that extra discerning taste, um, check out Elevate. What we did is we went for our whole inventory and we handpicked some of the best of the best. But some of our top, top operators like Abercrombie and Kent, Queen of Clubs uh, and a few others are on here. And really it's a landing page that's designed specifically for that luxury client. Because what the feedback we were getting is we were like, say you have a luxury client and you load up our Paris page, you'd see several hundred things. And it was hard to kind of filter that down and see what's most relevant for that client. So we built Elevate as a way just to see those top high-end options. You can filter as you, on the top box here, you can pick the destination, the type of experience, be it single, multi, or custom. Um, you'll see the destination pages. They do look very similar um, to the other pages. It's just got that blue branding. Um, so you take the Amsterdam page as an example, there's only 12 Elevate options on here that we've handpicked. And just like the rest of the website, you can click in, uh, see who the operators are, request custom quotes, and all of that great stuff as well. So on to just uh, a quick update on our custom and our group work. Um, if you do have a group, that's when I 100% recommend you reach out with an email to us, because we can design things from scratch. And also there's no concept of like a minimum group size uh, for a custom request. We'll do a custom request for two people. Uh, we've done them for 2000. Um, do let us know. The only thing that's gonna be different is the pricing. Obviously a price, total price for a two person tour may be similar to a five person tour. But if you would like something designed, reach out. Reach out with an email. Tell us what the client's interested in. Tell us what they'd like to be doing. Tell us what's the perfect uh, day would look like. And we will then reach out to like our different operators to put that quote together. We can do the group rate discounts. We can quote you rack. We can even quote you net rates. Um, we can do a commission markup as well. Like the standard commission is 10%, but if you wanted a slightly bigger margin, let us know. We'll put that into the quote. And then what's more is even though this is all going to be offline, it's going to be via emails with one of our concierge team, we're still going to set up a page on our website. So here's an example of one here. Um, you can see it looks very similar to a typical tour. Like it's got the name of photo and all the information. And you can still do things like a referral link and make a PDF. So even though um, it's custom, we will still set this up on the website for you. So feel free just to, uh, uh, you, you don't miss out on any of this technology when you're going group or custom with us. Okay, to wrap things up, I'm gonna show you the checkout page so you can see some of that functionality as well. So on the, on the, um, the tour pages, there's two ways to start a booking. There's the book now button on the right, and then there's the add to cart option. The add to cart just simply puts things in the cart that you book in one go later. And then the book now gets you straight to the checkout page. If you do add things to your cart, it puts them in here in your account page. And within the account page, this cart section, this is how you can book as many things as you like. So you could actually book five things and a couple of transfers in one go with one credit card by putting them in your cart, coming in here and clicking select, 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 and check out. And here's what the checkout page looks like. So we've done a short code in here just to show you what that looks like. And you can see at the top, you just put the dates, the times, the passengers, uh, the accommodation. Um, if it's a hotel or a cruise port, it'll change accordingly. So by clicking cruise port, you see we ask you for all these details, the cruise line, the ship, the, the arrival and departure times. And now down here in the bottom left, this green circle, this is some of your kind of functionality that only you get as an advisor. If you want to pay a net price, you literally click a button. You can put pricing onto the voucher. You can even add a service fee and a service fee of us is extra commission. Um, and it, 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 will say it does not get itemized on the, the client's card statement. And then last but not least here, the split payment option. So that's how you use as many credit cards as you like. Just click split payment. Um, and type in the amounts and you can use as many cards there as you'd like to. And then when a booking goes through, this is what the vouchers look like to give you an idea here. Um, the logo at the top will be your logo instead of ours. And then hopefully you see this is pretty cleanly laid out as well. So 
The left hand side is the booking information, like your client information, and the right hand side is the operator information, starting with a meeting point, because that's usually what people are looking for first. There's local operator phone details on here. The payment summary will give you the cancellation policy. There's also our phone numbers on here if they're needed as well. All the bookings are actually linked up to your account page as well. So you, you get a you get an email notification um, as a copy of the voucher. But if you ever need to look something up, they're all back here in the account page. Um, and um, your client bookings will show in here as well. So if you um, uh, you can't book something, you can look on here to find all the commissions and extra information. All right, registration. So a few logins are already made, but if you are not yet registered, it's really quick and easy. Just scroll down to the bottom of the website and you see this Get Involved Travel Advisor section. And this is the form to fill out. Really straightforward, name, email, company name, that's your agency name. The accreditation type is the agency IATA. So you need to have the IATA there, but you can put any agency name in here. So however you want to be set up, put that, put that in there. And then after you're set up, you can go and upload a logo. And that's all going to be done within the account area that we're looking at here. So I, I know I've looked at the account area throughout this presentation, but this is kind of an overview of like all the tabs, profile, wish list, cart, bookings, et cetera. I've shown you some of the tabs. So I'm right now I'm going to dive into the my client section. And from my clients, this is where you can register new clients. And this my client registration tool is another way you can make sure you won't commission. So you know I showed you how to make how to send referral links to clients that then track back to you. With this tool, you upload an email address, and then that's the link back to you. And you can upload as many emails as you like. Um, you can even um, bulk load if you send us an Excel file. We've also got a gift certificate page on here. Um, so you can buy as many gift certificates as you like, um, all available kind of in here, like you can buy a $5, $10, $20, however much you like, um, and then gives you your client as a way to incentivize a booking. The gift certificates will all get shown on here, and then um, uh, as they get used, the status will change so you're fully aware. And the final tab on here is the integrations tab. Um, so it's on the integrations tab, you'll see all the companies that we work with. Um, so Travify, Axis, UMAP, if you use any of these platforms, um, you can sync your project exhibition account with them. Um, and then it's gonna save you a bit of time uh, when it comes to making bookings uh, and importing that information from us into them. All right, gonna wrap up a couple of quick updates. Um, there's a really cool knowledge center we've built out now, lots of information. I've covered everything on kind of this, this intro session on a high level, but if you want to go into a bit more detail, check out the knowledge center. There's an FAQ section, there's how to guide sections, there's little walkthrough videos, step-by-step uh, -step guides on key bits of functionality. Um, so I, this, this webinar has been recorded, so you can obviously rewatch the whole thing, but if you want a quick refresher, like a two minute video and building a wish list, check out this section. And then finally, um, if you are on Facebook and you join supplier vendor groups, you are more than welcome to join ours. We've got a really great one called Project Expedition Travel Advisors. Um, I try and put weekly updates in here, like what we're up to. Um, I get lots of feedback in here from advisors. So yeah, if you're on Facebook, you're more than welcome to join our group. We'd love to welcome you in. So I guess my, my final note um, is firstly just to thank you. Uh, I really appreciate just being invited and having a chance to introduce Project Expedition. Um, as I said, this really is just the intro and the start of hopefully working together. Um, I put the contact details on there so you can get in touch. If you've got any questions, come straight to me. There's all the customer service numbers on here. Um, and for anyone that maybe just hasn't booked excursions before, um, do keep in mind that it doesn't need to be that complicated. I, I hear a lot of advisors sometimes avoid excursions because it feels like so much choice and all these kind of challenges of booking them. Hopefully you've seen with some of our functionality and our customer service that we can really make it minimal effort. Um, and keep in mind, like, there's a good amount of commission that you can actually pick up on some of these excursions. Um, and also it will increase your client retention rate. Um, something that we surprised us is you have a client that's booked like a big kind of private excursion on a week long trip, they're less likely to cancel the whole week long trip. And what's more, when they come home, 
it's that excursion that they're most likely to talk about as opposed to other parts of the trip. So your overall business can then look fantastic just by adding in a couple of extra excursions. And then maybe you've got a repeat customer from there. So thanks again, everyone. Uh, I'd love to hear any questions if there are. Um, otherwise, you've got the contact details here. But thanks again, Tyra. Really appreciate it. Back to, back to you. Oh my gosh, bro. This is amazing. I'm looking at my Facebook group. It is in the middle of the day, so they don't have any questions, but this is amazing. I cannot wait to update my website with my referral link because this is, I love the white labeling of it. You know, you just put it there and then everything, you know, the clients can do all, you know, by themselves, but this is amazing. Like this is amazing. We cannot wait to start using you guys. This is, I cannot say enough about it. And thank you. um, I was registering um, our agents individually okay. every time that they wanted to be registered so it's it's really nice to see that they can go in and and register themselves and they yeah. can add their own um, travel business name but just as long as they use our personal IATA number um whenever they're registering it'll automatically um, be connected to what so that they can still receive their commissions right exactly exactly and like so people they kind of set up their own agencies in a way but it's the commission's all tied back to you so if they can brand themselves with their own logo, their own agency name, and kind of be independent in that sense, but commissions through the host, which is you. Okay, no, this is good. So that, um, that they can brand this up themselves because the ones that I have been creating, I've been sending them their links, but their link still has my, um, our logo on it. And I do know that some of them have yeah. their own personal logo. So is it better for them to go ahead and re-register um, under you know the link that you, you, know, you showed them? Or is there an extra step that I can take in the back office to have them be independent as far as logo? Uh, when you register them, they're going to be under your agency. We can change it though. So the ones you have, you want me to change the names? I can do that. Okay. Yes, that'd be great. So that everybody can be individual and you know they have the option to upload their logos. Exactly. All right. But no, this is amazing. Um, thank you so much for your time today, Rob. And um, if the agents have any questions, I will surely reach out yeah. to you. This has been amazing. And thank oh, you so thank much you. for your time. Oh, my pleasure. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye.